Capricorns, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for May 16th to the 22nd of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link because the signs are different. So Capricorn, this week we have a full moon on Saturday, which is illuminating two key areas because it's going to be right on the cusp between Libra and Scorpio. So these two key areas are involving your 10th house of career. Uh, future endeavors of your productive life. If there's been anything over the past six months that you've been um, striving for or working towards in the productive side of things, uh, this could be a high point, a status check to see how things are unfolding there where you can continue to put energy. Maybe there's some things that can be let go or need to be adjusted, which is sometimes the case during the full moon, and uh, so that you can continue to cultivate that. And the other area is your 11th house, which has been a big emphasis with your ruler Saturn and Mars retrograde in that house. So the 11th house is the house of your aspirations, right? And I think that has been a big emphasis for about the past year, you know, off and on with your ruler here. So uh, the key here is that it's about hard work. It's about patience, right? This is about that Saturn energy of the long-term type of aspirations. And specifically with Mars, this has perhaps been these past, you know, month or so, this more short-term sort of wanting that, you know, those hopes and wishes and those aspirations. But it does take, of course, time, and there are things that are being reflected with that. <clears throat> so this full moon is going to be illuminating perhaps more of the importance of where you're putting your energy with those aspirations. And for some of you, involving community things, involving friends or networking, if that's been a big emphasis for you. So uh, that's going to be the illumination, the status check to see where you can continue to cultivate those aspirations, but remembering to be flexible in the whole process because that's what the retrogrades are about, right? Trying new things, being adaptive, and it's taking time, of course, until these plants go direct, and it is Saturn, right? And I think right now, particularly examining where you can put your energy and try new things involving what are your hopes and wishes, and for some of you, networks or group-related things. So that's going to be the full moon on Saturday. Now, as we approach that, we do have some important aspects this week, one of which is, is involving your ruler Saturn. Jupiter squaring up to Saturn will be exact next Thursday. All right, so a week from Thursday. So that's going to be uh, very important. This is actually the last and final aspect with this. Um, it's been going on since August of last year. And then we recently had the second one in March. And now this is the last and final one taking us into June. So this is all about, for you, because it's your ruler, a bit of that, I think, optimism and seeing possibilities in your life. And I would say seeing the possibilities with those aspirations. But of course, the square and with Saturn is about, again, that patient approach, right? The long term, the steady growth. And that's really what Jupiter and Saturn connecting is really all about. Is Jupiter sees the possibilities, but then Saturn refines them. Right, so this is expansion and limitation. And when you combine those two, especially in a square, you can build it. Right, So it's building those aspirations, knowing they take time, but seeing the opportunities and taking the actions necessary. Now on the other side of this, this is involving your eighth house, which is where Jupiter's been, which is about the deeper connections of life. You know, matters relating to intimacy and opening up and having a bit of that, you know, primarily openness with self, which then leads to the openness and vulnerability and relationships and that kind of thing. So Jupiter's a very buoyant planet. So I think you're seeing the lighter side of what normally is a very deep part of life. You know, this is everything that is hidden. It's very deep in the psyche. It's our fears and things like that. But it's all coming to the forefront in a way where you can learn a lot about it. And I think you have over the past five months with that retrograde Jupiter. But now that Jupiter's direct, now it's about implementing that. And it's a bit easier to implement that. I think you can see plenty of opportunities, I think, to have that openness, have those deeper connections, to transform, maybe for some of you, to release yourself from any unhealthy bonds or unhealthy attachments in life, whether internal or external. And with that square from your ruler, it's, again, suggesting patience with that. Because although that is an expansive area, it is about that slow and steady approach, right? The steady growth there and being patient with those things. So that's going to be ongoing all week. That'll be strongest next week around Thursday, but definitely a backdrop. Now, as we approach that full moon on Saturday, um, on Thursday here, we are going to have Venus shifting into Taurus. 
And so this is accentuating what is this new area for you, which is your fifth house. This is the house of self-expression because you just had the sun enter into this fifth house uh, over the weekend, last weekend. So you can be gaining energy through expressing yourself this week or cultivating your interests or your hobbies. Maybe learning more about that. And Venus shifting into here midweek onward is a bit of this enjoyment to be had through maybe some creative things or playful things or entertainment, being entertained, these kinds of matters. So great there. And with this full moon, there is this, of course, balance, which is involving the 5th and the 11th, which is that there are aspirations, there are these future things, but they are all part of who we are, right? And that's the key between these two areas, these two houses, is that, you know, what our future goals are, what the world needs, what the community needs, is for us to really tap into our true self, our, our self-expression, and to have that playfulness, that fun, that enjoyment in what we're cultivating for the future. And vice versa, you know, in order to cultivate these things, we do have to have that lighter, funner, and more playful experience in life. So that's really being accentuated. This is where you're going to have a new moon next, or actually in the next two weeks, which will be that uh, new moon in your fifth. But definitely a great week for focusing on this self-expression and perhaps some of those interests and things you enjoy in life. Now, as we go into the weekend, uh, we do have uh, Mercury going direct on Sunday, in fact. So there is this shift now specifically with what you have been learning about your personal life with Mercury retrograde in the fourth. Maybe in terms of your health, maybe in terms of your home or your family, these things. And so with that energy starting to move forward, I think there might be some things clicking over the weekend, making sense, and taking you into a new direction involving uh, working with your roots or establishing your roots in life, whether, it, again, it's either your health, your home, or your family. All right? So Capricorn, have a fantastic week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.